Hello, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, depending uh, on where you're at. Um, welcome to uh, today's webinar uh, brought to you by Bolite Technology Group. I'm here uh, with Mike Lugo. My name is Manny Aguilar, and we're going to be talking um, about uh, thermal solutions uh, for different scenarios. Um, so pretty much we're going to jump right into it. Uh, it's going to be, um, you know, kind of a quick webinar, not, not too length lengthy. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna talk about um, what cameras or what thermal solutions to use for different scenarios. We're gonna go uh, through um, uh, quite a few uh, scenarios so that uh, you could learn and uh, see what the benefits of uh, each camera for uh, each of the scenarios is gonna be. So um, from talking to a lot of uh, businesses and people, the, uh, I guess, conventional way of taking temperature right now is a temperature thermometer gun, which is uh, administered by, um, you know, somebody that is, you know, a foot and a half, two feet away from you. Uh, kind of puts that individual in the line of fire in regards to if somebody has uh, the COVID virus or any virus for that matter, um, two feet is just too close too close for comfort at least. And um, our solutions is going to uh, kind of take that middleman out of the picture and uh, create a safe environment for, for all the employees or, or guests of uh, the locations. Uh, the first scenarios we're gonna be um, covering is, um, Locations with lobby spaces. Uh, we're talking about the doctor's offices, um, restaurants, uh, hotel lobbies, uh, daycares, uh, somewhere where uh, there's a waiting room and uh, there's people coming in and out and uh, you know checking in with somebody. By the way, if you have any questions uh, uh, pertaining to the uh, to anything uh, throughout the uh, webinar, please feel free to. Uh, you know, type in uh, that question and uh, we will, you know, make sure and uh, answer it for you right away. So uh, let's get started here. Our first scenario is going to be restaurant lobby. Restaurant lobbies are a busy, uh, a busy place. It's, it's going to be where um, you have people coming in and out um, throughout the day. And as opposed with, with uh, places that have employees, these are people that are are different every time. There's there going to be uh, there's going to be uh, people that um, that uh, could potentially you know have that uh, uh, elevated temperature, and that's where uh, you know our device comes in. Uh, the the camera that uh, we chose for this scenario is the the BN twenty six hundred ACTC, uh, pretty much a uh, standalone unit that is ready to uh, take temperatures right out of the box. Um, it does have a feature that, uh, that, that we love, that a lot of our customers love. It's called a silent alert system. And pretty much um, what that does, we're gonna run a little video uh, for you here uh, really quick, uh, but pretty much what that does is um, it, alerts, uh, it alerts you of somebody uh, with a uh, elevated temperature uh, without uh, having a audible alarm or or voice uh, kind of blaring it out to everybody else. So uh, it is a uh, a uh, feature that was um, was incorporated uh, into our stand, and um, and like I said, there's a lot of people that like it because it's quiet. Uh, it does flash uh, a few times when somebody rings up uh, with an elevated temperature. Um, here in a, in, a, in a second here, we could uh, run this video so that you could kind of get an idea of, uh, or actually see it, uh, uh, how it works. Here we go. So this person scanned normal. Somebody obviously is, um, is uh, monitoring the system. So when somebody rings up, with an elevated temperature, the light flashes, and at that time, um, somebody can, um, you know, set that person aside and uh, and continue with the uh, protocol, uh, your protocol, whatever that protocol is, whether you're taking a secondary temperature scan or um, you know setting them aside and and, and so forth. Doing. 
here we go. Let's let's. I guess we had a little, little technical um, problems here, but uh, we're back on. And um, let me uh, rewind it a minute here. So there we go again. Uh, temperature temperature is fine for that person. Um, this person here rings up elevated. Somebody's there to you know take a look at the uh, the uh, red light that comes on. And that red light. So you guys can see that there's a red light under the hand sanitizer indicating that there's no that the temperature is high and it's not going to give that that audible sound to alert anyone other than the person that um, then is monitoring right. the system correct yep. so that's a nice little feature that was um added to the uh, like i said to our stand that uh, kind of um uh works out in regards to uh detecting somebody with an elevated temperature so yeah so so restaurant lobby again super busy place um uh very easy very quick scans um and uh something that um will get that crowd going quickly yeah. especially with the silent alarm um you know you have a lot of we have a lot of people in the in the area you do not want something like that going off and alerting you know customers that someone has a high temperature might get them nervous or something like that so in, in this case this would be a good situation to use that sudden alarm and and mike can you uh kind of tell us a little bit about uh this being a standalone unit what what does that mean what is that uh you know what does that incorporate there now, so standalone unit meaning that it, it runs its own uh backbone it doesn't need a server to connect to it doesn't need any additional software or hardware um there is additional software for it but it doesn't need it to run um, it doesn't need a network connection, but it does have a network connection in case you want to do some remote viewing or you have multiple entrances and you have multiple devices and you need to uh, monitor them all. There's a software that comes with it. Um, but for the most part, it's it's plug and play. You don't have to worry about any kind of um, setting anything up, especially if you're just using it just for the body temperature reading out of the box, ready to go. Very simple to use. Um, yeah, and, and this one really goes in any scenario and any application it fits. Okay, so that's pretty much for the restaurant um, scenario there. Our next uh, scenario would be uh, a doctor's dentist office where you have um, where you have people coming in, checking in with the uh, with the receptionist. And um, what's nice about this system is that apart from you being able to scan, um, you know, um, and in this case, patients that are coming in and out. Um, you're also able to um, incorporate this so that you could use it with your employees. So um, if you have, uh, you know, doctor's office has anywhere from five to let's say 15 employees, um, you could actually set up a facial recognition feature on the camera that actually recognizes the face of the, uh, of the employee and, with that feature, um, if somebody rings up high, if somebody, um, uh, you know, it has a elevated temperature, you could actually pull up reports from the device uh, telling you who it was, what time they scan, and, you know, the date. So all that information will be on there. Um, apart from that, um, you could use it as, uh, as a, a time clock, uh, per se. Um, you could use it for uh, attendance. So um, kind of eliminates uh, if you're doing it by hand or if you're doing it by, you know, the old, you know, kind of punch a card way. Um, this kind of, you know, helps out and makes it a little bit more automated. Um, so on, on this scenario, we would put it uh, right near the, uh, the entrance again, um, near the receptionist, somewhere where um, somebody could keep an eye on it if you're using the silent alert system. Now, if you connect this device to the network, it will also send you um, email notifications if somebody um, should happen to ring up high, whether it's an employee or uh, um, a patient. And what's nice about uh, this system, again, is that you could actually um, scan both um, patients and employees with the same device. You don't need separate devices. Now, what's also good about uh, this camera is, like Manny mentioned, it does have the attendance. You can use it for the employees as well as uh, people coming in. And you can have someone sitting, maybe a receptionist behind the desk who can be monitoring it at the same time because it does have that network capability. 
And again, it, it might sound kind of like, well, you're at a doctor's office. Why would I need a temperature <laughs> reading device? <laughs> and again, um, in these times with the COVID uh, vaccine or uh, vaccine, a COVID uh, uh, pandemic, you um, you want to keep that person away from anybody that's potentially infected. So um, this kind of makes it uh, hands free. Um, you know, you keep your social distancing and, uh, you know, kind of that's good for everybody, whether you're a uh, whether you're a patient or in this case, a patient or a employee. It's good for peace of mind as well to know that, you know, everybody um, that's passing, coming into the room is gonna have their temperature checked. It just makes, I think people feel better. Oh yeah, yeah. or uh, patients uh, have that peace of mind where you're actually being proactive and uh, and uh, doing something about, you know, you know, keeping the uh, uh, potentially infected or potentially, um, People with an elevated temperature away from uh, from them, so especially actually, in the doctor's office. Yeah, feels medical, good. So, it feels yeah. good. <laughs> uh, next one is um, hotel lobby. So this one is a little bit different. Um, you are going to have that uh, that traffic, the the one season, two season. But sometimes um, with a hotel lobby, you can have groups of people coming uh, in at the same time, and to kind of prevent a bottleneck. Um, well, you could you could do two two. We recommend two cameras for this one. Again, it's going to be the uh, the BN twenty six hundred. Um, that's great for for uh, you know somebody coming scanning, and um, and then the next person comes. But if there's a busy busy lobby where there's groups of people coming in all the time, and you want to kind of have something that that is a little bit more um, you know that's kind of more multiple targets at a time. Uh, then we recommend you go with our mobile system. It's going to be the the BC um, twenty thirty six. Yeah, and so we're gonna we're gonna put a little quick video so you can kind of get an idea of uh, of um, you know what we're talking about when we say multiple targets at the same time. So here you got people walking in, uh, and as you can see the on the screen on of the. Um, of the uh, scanning device or scanning tool there, you, you see the individuals come through and um, it gives you a temperature um, for each of the individuals with them ha not having to stop and, and get scanned. It's kind of it's kind of on the fly. You know, it takes the temperature as you're walking by. Um, with this device, it's, it's definitely designed for you to uh, be monitoring it. It's not something that's gonna, you know, send emails or anything like that. But if you have like a security guard, or a hotel, um, you know, lobby host, or 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 just a receptionist, you know, keeping an eye on it. It will give you a audible um, alert if somebody scans uh, high on that uh, on that device. Yeah. So you also get, you know, uh, like Manny mentioned, you can connect, connect it to an external monitor. So if you have someone monitoring, maybe a security guard or someone at the front desk, they're able to see everybody coming through. Um, and it does have a black body calibration unit that comes with it to keep it calibrated, make sure it's giving you accurate temperatures constantly. Um, and that's a big plus that these black bodies come with the um, the thermal cameras because some of them do not come with them and they are needed to keep the calibration correct. So keep that in mind. Yeah, th there's one major difference between uh, both of these cameras. One is an infrared sensor, which is the BN2600 ACTC, it has an infrared sensor. Um, the uh, BC2636 PTC has a thermal sensor. So a uh, big difference, uh, the thermal sensor can be more accurate, or actually is more accurate when used with a black body uh, calibration uh, system there. So you are going to be getting a... Um, a accurate readings at, at, a, at a further distance. Yep. So that's a, a big plus for that camera there. Yeah, and keep in mind that they are completely different um, type of thermal reading. Um, me and Manny had a scenario recently where, um, you know, the wrong camera was kind of sold in the wrong situation. So the purpose of this webinar as well is to educate to get the right product to the right application and make sure that that the customer is satisfied. Yeah, we, we definitely wanted to work in, in, in the scenario that you're putting it in. And so, um, you know, we, we want to educate you so that uh, so that you know what camera. And then again, you know, if you have any questions, 
uh, regarding scenarios, regarding uh, any other function of the cameras, you know, we are here to help you out. So, you know, you call our number here and uh, we can uh, get tech support to help you out, uh, you know, right away. So let's go on to the next scenario here, uh, retail store. So uh, we know that uh, most malls, uh, well, a lot of stores have been closed because of the uh, of the uh, pandemic, and um, it's one of those um, one of those scenarios that will be coming back soon. And everybody is dying to get into a store and and, and do some in person shopping and you know getting what they need. And of course, this is something that. Um, that again people are going to have that peace of mind if, if you're proactive and you're putting um you know the uh necessary measures to um to kind of weed out the people with uh, the elevated temperature potential uh covid uh, um you know infection so um retail stores busy places uh people coming in and out um this one here because of uh of um of the simple you know, uh, application of just temp taking temperatures, we recommend the uh, the BN 2600. Again, uh, it's gonna give you that rapid uh, temperature scanning, it's gonna get you that silent alert system. And a lot of businesses are requiring um, anybody that comes in, whether, uh, you know, you're a, you're a um, customer or an employee to wear a facial mask. I mean, uh, everybody's doing it. With this uh, particular device, you can set a, uh, a a mass detection feature on it that will not scan you unless you're wearing a mask, and it will tell you uh, to please, you know, put a mask on. Uh, apart from that, one of the new features um, that we've implemented to our stand is the hand sanitizer dispenser. Super, uh, super uh, handy, I guess, uh, feature on this one because. I mean, if you're scanning, put a little hand sanitizer on your hands and it kind of, you know, kills whatever germs you have on your hand. And that way you come into the store, at least um, being able to touch things without spreading any uh, any germs around. Yeah, and uh, the, good thing, the good thing in this scenario, I'm pretty sure everybody's been to, you know, a store since COVID's hit. And what do they have there? They have required to wear a mask. They have a person actually standing there scanning your temperature. And of course, there's always hand sanitizer everywhere, but this, this product takes care of all those things in one at one shot you don't have to have someone there actually doing all this this will do everything for you or for the customer um, so it makes it really easy and it's it's just uh it's a better way to go about things yeah it's, it's an all-in-one system um accurate temperature quick temperature scanning uh you got the uh facial mass attention detection and of course a hand sanitizer dispenser which is a, a big feature there um, Again, uh, the camera is uh, the hand sanitizer. By the way, it's built in. It runs from the same power as the uh, the unit, so there's no additional batteries that need to be needed to be put in it. Or um, all you need to do is refill it when it's empty. Um, what is the capacity of the uh, the hand sanitizer? Hundred milliliters. Yeah, I believe so. And then it dispenses one milliliter at a time. So yep. you're averaging probably anywhere from eight hundred to a thousand dispenses. You know, from the uh, from the unit before you have to, uh, you know, refill it. So it's actually a nice, nice feature there. Uh, on to the next uh, scenario: schools. Uh, schools are uh, a big uh, topic nowadays. With uh, you know, uh, kids, um, you know, going back to school, doing online um, schooling. Uh, sooner or later, schools will reopen. Um, it's just one of those things where. Um, you're gonna have to um, have uh, precautions in place when the kids come back to school. Um, and in in this scenario, you could use uh, one or two cameras, or actually both cameras, uh, if you want. Uh, the BN2600 uh, ACTC, of course, you would put an entrances. Um, people could be monitoring, or, or, or staff or faculty could be monitoring the uh, device as kids pass by and, and, and stop and you know get scanned. Um, another uh, camera that would be perfect for um, school scenarios would be um, our, um, I guess, bigger camera that can uh, target and scan up to 45 people at a time. So if you have a crowd of kids in the morning coming into school um, and you don't kind of want to bottleneck, um, you know, the uh, 
the uh, you know kids coming into the school, you would definitely um, benefit from deploying one of these cameras here. And you can see it's very simple. It takes temperatures very quick, multiple people at a time. Um, it lets you set the area of where you want those temperatures to be taken. Um, so the camera is very useful for for schools. You got a lot of kids coming in. You need to get everybody's temperature. You need to be able to you know, weed everybody out and see what's going on in one shot. Um, this camera is perfect for those scenarios. And it's going to take care of, you know, everybody coming through. Employee, employees, teachers, students, the whole, the whole nine yards. Yeah. And what's nice about this, uh, this camera, it does connect to a network and you could view it remotely. So if you have somebody in the office uh, that um, has a big monitor on the wall, and uh, just kind of in the morning, you know, just monitoring everybody that's coming in. If somebody rings up uh, high or elevated temperature, all it takes is a little, you know, press of the walkie-talkie and uh, and have somebody, you know, set that child aside and uh, and, and and you know, uh, do your protocol as far as uh, you know what the next step is. But schools is going to be a big topic soon, and um, we just need to get ready for them. And uh, these are two great solutions for uh for schools um, again uh this camera has a black body so uh, much like the uh the portable camera um this one does have the uh the calibration device that's going to keep it accurate uh um all the time so it's it, it's very very efficient so um and don't don't uh let other Manufacturers fool you about not needing a black body. You need a black body. You need to keep it calibrated, especially um, these types of cameras that do you know, thermal imaging. You want to make sure it's accurate, especially right now in, in these times. So the black body is very important to have, um, and it comes with our camera, so it, it makes it just an easier decision for for you guys. Yeah, it's easy. It's it's priced with the black body already, so it's not something that. Uh... We're going to give you an option because because we feel that uh, the black body is necessary for uh, for this camera to uh, give you the accurate readings. And because both these cameras are network cameras, um, they both can be accessed through the network and viewed remotely and get remote um, notifications like emails. Um, so that's another advantage of having um, two network capable cameras on the in your facility. Yeah, you know, a lot of uh, from talking to uh, customers and uh, dealers, distributors, um, I find that um, schools have kind of been in the gray about uh, what to use. They, they they haven't been given any any guidance or any uh, protocols to follow. So kind of everyone's doing their own thing, and um, this is a perfect time to you know for somebody to offer um, these cameras and and then show them you know that this is what they do and this is how they do it and. Uh, and I believe that uh, this these two products here are are um, perfect for for any school scenario. Again, this is a, a group of people walking in uh, one by one. As you can see, the uh, temperature readout is uh, displayed right above their head. Easy, simple, um, and fast. Yeah. And people coming through very quickly. Groups of people coming through very quickly. You can see the camera picks them up. You know, very easily. It's very easy to see their temperature. Um, it's just an easy camera to use and very accurate. Again, if you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to uh, type it in into uh, you know the the little box out there, and uh, we'll be uh, you know happy to answer anything you have going. Okay. So, and. Talking about the black body, um, so there's certain criteria that you have to meet when with the black body. So the beauty of it is that you can have it above, let's say in a, in a school scenario, you can have it mounted above on the ceiling, and you don't have to worry about, you know, kids like to touch things, they like to to uh, get in the way of things. In this situation, you can have it mounted above and not have you know, children come in any harm's way or have the camera come in any harm's way for that matter. Yeah, um, kids will be kids, you know, they're, they are going to touch, they are going to try to see if, you know, if it's, if it's, if it falls, you know, it, just keeping it away from them. As long as it's in the shot uh, of the camera, 
um, you're going to get an accurate reading. So uh, our next scenario, office buildings. Um, again, a lot of uh, a lot of people have been working from home. Um, office buildings have been quite empty, um, or some of them, I should say. But um, again, one day they're all going to come back, uh, and uh, and and we feel that's going to be pretty soon. And uh, again, being ready for for employees coming back to work, being ready for uh, for them to feel safe in their work environment. Uh, we recommend, um, again, the same two cameras. It's going to be the BN 2600 ACTC. You could set that in the, uh, you know, the entrance of the uh, office building, somewhere where everybody can scan and, um, and uh, you know, see if that uh, elevated temperature is there. Um, with this particular camera, again, you're going to have the uh, facial recognition option on there. So if you want to set profiles for each individual employee, um, so that you could get reports out of the uh, system that's definitely available. Um, and also uh, one feature that uh, we haven't mentioned with uh, with the BN2600 is our access control integration. So this camera can integrate with um, access control uh, via the Wigan protocol. So I'm gonna let you talk a little bit more about that, um, Mike. So yeah, let's put on a little video real quick, see how this, show you guys how it actually works. Um, so yeah, it integrates with your access control. Um, so it opens doors with your face. Also, you see that it has a, a RFID card scan reader that acts as another level of, um, of entry when using it as, a, as an access control um, unit. Uh, we have a question here, one second. The black body need to calibrate. So it says, does the black body need to be calibrated? Um, does the black body have to be calibrated every year? No. So the, the beauty of the black body is that cameras, the thermal cameras usually have to go, you have to get them calibrated every so often. Um, the black body will keep that calibration. It has a black circle on it that is a, absorbs heat um, and gives off a constant heat temperature and keeps it calibrated. So it's very easy for you guys to not have to worry about any kind of um, maintenance on it. So pretty much uh, the answer is as long as um, you keep them paired together, um, you don't need any calibration, right? Yeah, no calibration. Yeah. Okay. So there's another question. So how do I manage the BN 36, BN 9036 TH, and where does it record? So that's a good question. If you have an existing um, recorder since they are ip based and this is this goes for the 2600 as well you can connect them to your nvr and have them recorded to your, your recorder and we can go back and get this footage um it also keeps the osd screen overlays on that video so you'll see everybody coming through with the temperatures but um another way to view these cameras is that they like i said they all do come with a a uh, video management software as well so those are a couple different ways to access the camera and you can record with it um yeah and of course we have the card reader let's watch a little bit more of this video so the camera does a lot here's the next thing is it also has a uh in and out alarm. alarm, alarm out. In and out. <laughs> yeah. Um, that allows you to basically it's a relay that allows you to open, close, um, trigger sirens, lights, things like that, turnstiles. Um, that's another feature that the 96, 9036 TH has. Let me get back to this here. There we go. So yeah, so pretty much uh, with the RFID reader, um, if you scan uh, at a um, at a allowable temperature, then it will let you use your uh, your card to open the door. Yeah. If you scan above the allowed temperature, uh, then uh, it will not let you um, you know access uh, with uh, with your uh, access card there. So it's an another added feature there that um, uh, that is nice. Uh, a lot of people have already incorporated into their access control and uh, they love it. It's, it's, it's a great feature. It kind of takes you uh, 
you know, post COVID, um, you know, one, once COVID, hopefully one day this COVID will be gone and, uh, and you know, this, this, uh, this camera can be used for a lot of different, uh, um, you know, different scenarios. So um, it does have features that uh, will, um, you know, take you past the COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. And that's a good point that uh, Manny brought up. A lot of these cameras everybody's buying because of, of COVID, but they do a lot more than just take temperatures. You know, there's there's a whole market for them after this whole uh, pandemic passes. These cameras are still able to be used for access control, face recognition, uh, things like that. And again, going over uh, the two cameras, um, you have... Um, Black body ca calibration on the uh, uh, BN9036 CH uh, up to 45 uh, targets uh, as far as the temperature scanning, and then also you have included with uh, with every camera is uh, um, the VMS software that manages the camera. Again, we do not charge for uh, any of the software, so uh, it's all included. Any updates, any uh, firmware updates are also included there. Yeah. And keep in mind that the BN2600 does not need to be calibrated because it is a infrared, um, taking temperature in, by infrared, you do not need to calibrate it. It's not a thermal camera, so you don't have to worry about a black body. Yeah. Okay, so next scenario would be uh, factories and uh, manufacturing plants. Um, you know, the, these, this scenario is uh, a lot of people coming into work to the same place. Uh, you want to make sure that everybody is, um, you know, under that, uh, that uh, what, what, what is the, uh, the recommended uh, temperature by the uh, I CDC. believe it's uh, 100.4 is what everybody's using. Yeah, so, uh, and, and another thing, with all these cameras, you could set that threshold at wherever you want, uh, whether it be 100.4, or a little lower, a little higher, uh, depending on what your protocol, um, um, you know, demands. Yeah. But um, again, uh, factory manufacturing plant. A lot of people coming in uh, to work, uh, you know, assembling and 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 and, uh, and working close to each other. Um, you want to have some sort of measure to uh, to be able to um, to detect elevated temperatures here. Uh, and again, the go-to cameras are going to be the uh, BN2600 ACTC. And the BN ninety thirty sixty H. With these uh, two cameras, you pretty much cover uh, uh, a lot of the scenarios. Um, when you're dealing with a lot of people coming into a to a, a, a place of uh, employment, um, you want to be able to um, to prevent a bottleneck. So if you're using a BN twenty six hundred, um, yeah, you scan one at a time. Obviously, there's going to be a line, and um, you know, with people coming in to work and uh, so that's where the BN 90-30-60H comes in. Uh, 45 targets at a time. Uh, you're able to scan a large um, or large group of people um, at the same time without having to, you know, have them, you know, stop and, and scan. So you're gonna you're gonna you know keep that uh, that um, flow going into uh, into the workplace. So we have a question right here. Right? So it says, um, how does a camera work in scenarios where employees are wearing hard hats or goggles so that's a good question you want to make sure that the camera can detect the person's forehead eyes um, goggles hard hats anything covering any upper part of the face we want to try to stay away from um, anything that's going to reflect any kind of um, um, temperature from the infrared that's going to mess with this so we want to have a want to make sure that there's a clear a clear view of the camera to be able to get these these temperatures off the forehead around the eyes area we don't want anything hindering that that view um, and another thing we haven't mentioned that is very very important is that these cameras are made for controlled environments preferably indoors where the environment is not going to change and it's real important when you're taking people's temperatures in any the slightest environmental change can cause the camera to give wrong temperature. So very important, keep that in mind. You want a controlled environment. Inside is the best way to go. Um, these cameras, any cameras for the, on the market right now for that matter, are not um, made for outside. 
you know, just keep that in mind, guys. Yeah, you know what? Um, going back to the uh, uh, the uh, controlled environment, um, definitely inside is going to be your best. Uh, or actually, it's going to be it's going to probably be um, the way to go. I think uh, we've tried a, a couple of scenarios where we put the camera outside, and there's just a lot of uh, a lot of uh, of uh, objects and, and and temperatures that come into play. Whether you have sunlight, uh, wind, if it's cloudy, it all affects. Uh, the uh, the sensors very sensitive sensors when it comes to thermal and uh, and the infrared so uh, yeah definitely keep these devices indoor that's going to be uh, your best um, you know it's going to give you the best reading while they're indoor um, and uh, again you know the the two cameras that are, are are been in the lineup are the BN ninety thirty sixty H and the BN twenty six hundred ACTC um with uh, you know all these functions um again it could pretty much tackle any uh any scenario there um if you do have a uh, a scenario uh, uh that you you know kind of are, are questioning what camera to use uh, uh please give us a call contact your 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 rep and uh, we're all knowledgeable here as far as um scenarios and, and how these cameras work and uh, we will be able to help you um you know and 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 find the uh the same the the correct camera for that scenario yeah. um if you have questions on it if you need literature pricing uh yeah please contact uh your your rep uh for your area and they should be able to um answer any questions and uh and get you uh what you need just remember guys that these are thermal cameras but they have a lot of other functions um, a lot of other applications that they can be applied to other than just taking temperatures um yeah you know customers want to know about these functions and features and what am i going to do with these cameras once this pandemic is over am i you know am i stuck with this camera taking temperatures no there's a bunch of other functions and features that these cameras will continue to do what they need to do way beyond this this, uh, this pandemic situation that we're in yeah, so if you have any other questions, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hang on here for a little bit and, and see if, uh, if you have any other questions. But uh, that's pretty much our webinar for today. Uh, again, any questions or um, any questions on, uh, on any of these cameras uh, or scenarios or, or anything that we could do to help you out, just give us a call and uh, we will be there to, um, to help you out. Uh, this uh, webinar is going to be it actually recorded and will be on YouTube uh, shortly. So if uh, if you want to go back to any of the uh, features, if you want to go back and uh, and kind of take a look at it again, it will be available later on today. And we can also, if you guys need, let us know. We can send you the link. Um, you know, get it around it. Let uh, people watch it. Your customers watch it. Let them know what's out there. What what we got to offer. What these cameras can do for them. Okay, everybody, stay safe out there, uh, and um, you have a great day. Uh, again, any questions, we're here to help you out. Everybody, thank you for your time.